Hello and welcome to Remarkable. We're really excited to have you on board. We're going to spend the next few minutes of this quick start video showing your technical team how to very quickly set up Remarkable into your existing mobile app and to allow non-technical users to then take control of the system to start managing and updating the content of that app. So the first step is obviously the sign up step, which you've probably already done quickly with your name, email address, and password. Once you're registered, you'll land on the Remarkable dashboard where you can use your first free app credit to create your first app. So what we're gonna do is put in an app name and also associate an image so that we've got an app icon next to it in the system. We'll then choose our platform, in this case iOS, and in the bottom right hand corner of this screen you're going to see a link that will input sample schema definition information and we're going to come back and talk about the schema definition in just a second. In the meantime we're going to go over to the content library and this is where non-technical users, the ones who are managing the content of the app on an ongoing basis, can come in at any time to start uploading the actual content. So in this case we're going to upload an image, put a name to that image, and then browse our desktop to find the image asset itself and upload that straight into Remarkable. We can include any type of asset that we want to add into the system or attachment. We can also enter text in this phase as well, which is the text that will be sent through Remarkable. So once we've added some content, we're then going to go back into the app itself and we're going to create what's called a bundle. So this will be our first data bundle and that's a package of information that goes into the app through Remarkable. And this maps directly back to that schema definition that we saw earlier. So once that schema definition is defined, we can then come to this screen where all of the entry fields are pre-laid out based on that definition file. So to tell you a bit more about schema definition, it basically defines the structure of the JSON data. And it forms a contract of sorts between the app developer and the content editors who are responsible for inputting and managing the content. And that basically guarantees that the content is delivered in the right format and in a predefined and pre-agreed structure. So that structure here is based on our sample definition. And here we've got things like links, um, and URLs and images and descriptions all mapping back to that definition file. And all your non-technical users will then do is come to this section which is dynamically created for them once that schema definition is entered into the system. And this is where they will upload and visually manage all of the content. So as we've done here, our non-technical users put in a, a batch of content and click to save the bundle. And once that bundle is saved, we'll then go back into the app. There's a couple of keys here that are going to be important for you to embed in the SDK itself. The app token as well as uh, our key and both of those will be embedded directly into the SDK that is inside of your app. Now the next step is for you to go on over to docs.useremarkable.com. That's where all of our documentation sits and it's also the place that you'll download the SDK that gets embedded directly into your app. So in this section you'll find things like the quick start guide all written out. It's basically this video with all the steps put against it. You'll find a lot of reference material where we go in depth about schema definition, types, naming properties, putting it all together, and there's more examples there for you to use uh, when you construct your definition. Uh, there's also a direct link over to our support section. We've got a number of FAQs up there and you can at any time raise a support call or mail us at support at usermarkable.com and we're always around to help. Stay tuned for some more videos. In the meantime, we hope you get on really well setting up your first app. We're really excited to see what you create and check back with us for more updates because we've got more features and new SDKs coming all the time. Thanks again. We look forward to seeing you.